Hey everyone, Pat Mitchell from Trick Trades here, and in this free video lesson, I'm going to share with you two awesome patterns that are working extremely well for large cap stocks. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, folks, so this will just be a nice, quick, to the point type of video lesson, free video lesson from Trick Trades here. Uh, I'm going to share with you there's two patterns that are working really, really well in this market, and but it's going to take some patience on your end. If you're patient, I'm telling you, these stocks, they will set up, uh, they'll make you money. It actually becomes quite predictable. You just need to know what you're looking for. So I'm going to show you what to look for. So like I said, there's two. So the one, the first of the two is the, it's the squeeze. Okay. So you get the pop in the morning and it looks like they're just trapping shorts, right? So then they throttle the stock up and it initiates a squeeze and it squeezes. It goes nuts. Okay. So what do you look for? What kind of topping do you look for? Well, first of all, there needs to be, most of the time there's going to be some sort of a level. This was actually a level that was up on my chart. Uh, before this play even happened and even let's say that this level was taken off now I don't want to take it off because I like to leave these levels on because as the stocks come up and down on the daily chart these levels come back in and out of style meaning that they'll come in and out of play so I do want to leave this up but let's just pretend for a minute that this isn't here okay so what are we looking for so the pattern, the number one pattern that's working really well right now is kind of like that, that midday rip. And then it's kind of a fairly long consolidation. Okay. Consolidations are generally perceived as healthy, but in this market right now, they'll, they'll usually take an, one last test and then they fail. Okay. Now, if you miss that, you can always catch it on the lower high, but I like to catch the best entry possible. It gives me the most patience in the trade. This is actually a trade that I took today. I had a 275.08 average and I covered up the, uh, uh, the majority of my position uh, way down at this at this lower high so from top to bottom again a uh, really nice one but it's these long consolidations that work out really well now you're gonna have to still set a little bit of a wide stop because you'll have market maker games they'll pop the stock just over to stop you out so then you chase it back down okay so if you're not familiar with that you'll have to check out some of my other YouTube videos where I do discuss market maker games uh, you can also listen to the Fallout Shelter podcast. There's a whole Fallout Shelter podcast that's dedicated to market maker games. And remember, that's what they'll be doing right now. They'll pop the stock, just break it above, and then they'll they'll hammer it back down and they'll make you chase. Okay, that's how market makers collect their money. That's how they make money is through uh, uh, the spread and selling you back shares back and forth. They'll turn your account like that. So be careful with that. So that's one example. There is another example here. So Facebook is another one, really long consolidation, not so much like Netflix where it was super tight, uh, but you can see it's just consolidating. It keeps trying to break highs and it breaks highs, but then it comes back down and then you know, it tries again and it just can't. And it seems to be happening between the, the lull hours, right? The lunchtime hours that usually we stay away from. Okay, so you're going to have to wait because these stocks, they'll rip up. And for right now, I'm just not necessarily interested in going long a stock right now. And you can look at it and sure there was more upside than there was downside. But with all the volatility in the market, all it's going to take is one catalyst to come out. And there are lots of catalysts. If you listen to the last episode of Follow Shelter that we put up last night, episode 34, there's three catalysts that are that are going on right now that can potentially really dump the market at any moment. So just be careful of that. That's why I'm watching more so short, guys. I'm waiting for these stocks to become extended, show signs of topping, and then I'll short them back down. Uh, Facebook is a trade that was taken in the room. I didn't take this one. I was in Netflix later on. Um, so uh, some members really capitalized on this but yeah another long kind of long consolidation you you can take this quick little double top you can take it over here whatever it doesn't matter where you take it here guys just set a nice a nice stop 
over the next whole number. You can see it was consolidating under a whole number, which is another sign of weakness. It should be consolidating above the whole number if it's a sign of strength. So watch that, right? So that's the first setup. Like I said, we're going to make this a nice short to the point type of setup and pattern video lesson. Next one, double top. Now I have dozens, if not a million, that's right folks, a million video lessons on double tops. I love double tops. Right now they are really in style, but it's the longer term double top. You'll get a top put in uh, before lunchtime and then after lunchtime, it'll rip back up most people will freak out during this instead of pulling profits here, adding back in right at the double top to limit their risk and then reap the rewards of their patience, okay? This is how you properly trade stocks, guys, all right? Don't let these guys fool you when you see their charts with 147 executions on one stock during the day. That's nonsense, okay? So this double top working extremely well. I could probably point, point out five major stocks, large and mega cap stocks that did this today. And it's not just today, it did it yesterday as well, as well as indices. We got, well, an ETF, I guess I should say. We got the SPY double top. Got a beautiful double top that happened today. And we got a beautiful double top that happened yesterday. Guys, and the SPY is a ranger right now, man, from, from, uh, from the top and you could have nailed this top absolutely a hundred percent you could have nailed this top guys and you could have walked it all the way down even if you got out on this consolidation that's four and a half points if you walked it down and held till the end of the day you would have walked away with six and a half points okay and then same with today on this double top okay we got another beautiful beautiful double top if you would have taken that there, rode it on to, into some panic, even if you didn't catch lows, guys, it's still three and a half points. It's a beautiful trade, all right? So even the ETFs are doing that right now. But we have, like I said, NVIDIA did a beautiful, beautiful double top. Could have smoked this entry, even if you didn't take it right at into that double top, which is, that's exactly what I shoot for. Could have taken it on the lower high, walked it down. As soon as it put in a higher low down here, you're looking at four points. Guys, four points. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Would have made your day one shot, one kill. MU is another one that double top beautifully. Now, it's a little hard to see because you have this here. Maybe I'll get rid of this earnings action. Right? Beautiful double top. Look at that. To the penny, guys. To the penny double top. So, again... Taking it here, if you missed that, you could have taken this lower high wrist off high of day or this lower high wrist off high of day and walked it down. Now, remember, there was earnings after hours. You wouldn't want to hold into that. So MU would have given you almost a point on a $30 stock of easy, easy money. Yeah, it would have been a little stressful because it keeps playing up and down and up and down. But your idea is to take it into about 3, 3.10 p.m., 3.15 p.m. That's usually when these will pick a direction and start popping back up. See, if you look here, it's 3.30 is when it did. But usually around... 3 to 3.10, 3.15, that's when it'll pick its final direction and either shit or rip into the close. So that's what I have for you folks. Nice, short, to the point type of video lesson. Uh, these stocks are absolutely phenomenal right now. If you guys are trading penny stocks and your mentor's sitting there with his thumb up his ass all day and he's he's saying, he's he's typing nothing in chat but, it, but a bunch of Zs and ah, there's no plays, this and that, guys, get out of that room. This market is hot right now. Absolutely incredible market. Like I said, we'll go back to the spy just a quick sec before you guys go. Look at this. I mean, we are testing February lows right now. Go back and watch my video lesson that I did back on this day when I said that we are at the beginning of a bear market. And I even said that the market would come back up, test highs, even possibly break highs, and then dump in October. That's what it did. Come learn from a guy that actually knows what the hell he's talking about, guys. We are back down at lows. Remember, tomorrow... Wednesday, December 19th, there is a Fed announcement, very, very key Fed announcement, whether they're going to uh, raise hikes. They're most likely going to raise hikes anyways. They've already said that, but it's a, the amount, the percentage that they're going to raise it. Very key announcement coming up tomorrow, guys. Make sure to go all cash before 
2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or you're going to get smoked. So that's what I have for you folks. Make sure to come take a look at tricktrades.com. Uh, make sure to click on the videos popping up around you right now to sample some of our free education. Remember, that's just our free education, guys. The real good stuff's behind the paywall for members-only con content. And we will see you guys later. Adios, folks.